Hello there. We made it to Friday. Congratulations. We are now on our last lesson of number partners for 10. And then after the lesson, you're going to be able to practice by doing an I Ready lesson on your iPads. Are we ready to begin? I think so. Here we go. Number partners for 10, part five. All right, we got two problems to solve. Last time we drew tallies, and I think that worked pretty well for this presentation. So for our first problem, we're gonna use some tallies. It says blank plus nine equals 10. Blank or 10 equals blank plus two. So these are two separate problems. So we're gonna draw some tallies to solve this problem. I'm gonna draw nine blue tallies. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now I need to, so if this is five, I need to turn this one into another five. So I'm gonna take one. Now we have 10. So one plus nine equals 10. We have five here, and now we have another group of five. And we know that five plus five is 10. <clears throat> On to number two. I need two green tallies, and then we need to find the missing add end. So two. Now I'm gonna count on in my head to see how many yellow I need. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So how many yellow tallies do I have? I see one, two, three, and five. Three plus five is eight, so 10 equals eight plus two. Now let's look at the next problem. Oh, I noticed something. We have to take away 10 of something. So 10 minus what equals six? I'm gonna draw 10 tallies and then, or 10 dots, and then we'll take away six. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we need to take away six of them to find out the missing add end. You could also use your fingers if you would like, and if you have ten, you could put six down and see how much is left over. All right, let's take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many red dots are left over? Let's count to find out. One, two, three, four. And we know if we took away four, one, two, three, four, there would be six red dots with gray or black lines through them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. All right, the next one is an addition problem. 10 equals blank plus five. Let's draw five blue dots. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to see how many more we need to make 10. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 blue dots plus 5 green dots equals 10. Nice work. Let's move on. All right, here we go. This is problem number one. So for this problem, it says draw counters to show 10. And we have a 10 frame. Write two equations. 
All right, I see that we already have three counters. So let's draw three, or let's fill the counter, the 10 frame with how many counters? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have, oh, wrong marker. We have 10 is the total, because all boxes are filled in the 10 frame. And our part is one, two, three. And then we counted seven blue counters. So the two parts are three and seven in the number bond, and then 10 is the total. So let's do 10 minus three. If we take away the three, one, two, three, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left over. So 10 might take away three or 10 minus three is seven. Now let's try 10 take away seven. We have three red counters left. So 10 take away seven is three. Notice how the, the par partners for 10, three and seven, swap places in the equation. When we take away seven, the answer will be three. But when we take away three, the answer will be its partner and be seven. Complete the number bond. Write two equations. 10 plus two equals blank. Let's use our fingers for this one. So I need 10 up. So I have 10. I have 10. One way to solve this is I could take away two to find out what the other part is. Or I could put two in my brain and count on. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I now have ten fingers. So I need to count the ones that can I put up. So if we have two that we started with, I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the other part is eight. So I know ten equals two plus eight, and I also know that 10 equals eight plus two, because if I have eight fingers and I put up two more, we have eight, nine, 10. We just put up two more. So 10 equals two plus eight, 10 equals eight plus two. Complete the number bond, write four equations. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of equations. I'm going to highlight our subtraction problems and the addition so I know which ones I'm focusing on. I already know in my brain, if I have nine and I have to put nine in my calculator and count on nine, 10. I only needed one more. So nine plus one equals 10. So 10 take away one. If I have 10 and I, if I have 10 and I put one finger down, I have nine fingers up. So 10 take away one is nine. Now, if I have 10 take away nine, if I have 10 fingers up and I put down nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I only have one finger up. So 10 take away nine is one. 
And we already know in our brains that nine plus one equals 10 and one plus nine equals 10. Look at that, we just swapped those number partners around. And that is the end of the slideshow. We finally finished number partners, you did it. I'm so proud and I'm very proud of the work that you're doing as well. Remember, you now have your iReady lesson and if there's any problems with your iPads, you should let me know. Have your parent email me or call or text me. They can find my phone number on the first grade math group website and I will try to help you out as best as I can. I know the iPads are a little silly when it comes to iReady, so if you need some help, let me know. All right, have a great weekend, first graders. I miss you so, so much. You have no idea. It feels so weird to be not at school and learning and teaching at home, doesn't it? <clears throat> I hope you have a great day, and I will see you very soon, I hope. Have a good weekend.